This video shows you how to install the staple finisher into your printer. Note, this task requires a flathead screwdriver. Turn off the printer. Unplug the power cord from the electrical outlet and then from the printer. Open the box. Remove the accessories for the staple finisher. Remove the staple finisher from the box. Unpack the accessories for the staple finisher. Remove the plastic cover and the pieces of tape from the staple finisher. Install the feed guide. Depending on the model, the appearance of your printer may vary. Remove the standard bin. Place the exit bin flag in the closed position. Remove the backup roller. Attach the feed roller. Attach the roller cover. Open the front door and then remove the cover on the left side of the printer. Remove the left rear cover. Remove the inner bin cover. Insert the inner bin cover that came with the staple finisher. Install the screws to the inner bin cover. Attach the staple finisher slider and then secure it with a screw.
Insert the staple finisher. Install the mounting bracket to secure the finisher to the printer. Attach the left rear cover. Slide the staple finisher out, and then attach the left upper trim cover. Insert the staple cartridge into the finisher, and then slide the finisher toward the printer. Close the front door. Connect the option cable to the printer. Connect one end of the power cord to the printer. To avoid the risk of fire or electrical shock, connect the other end of the power cord to an appropriately rated and properly grounded electrical outlet. Turn on the printer.